Konami is reprinting Legend of Blue Eyes booster boxes. What's up guys, we're back with another sort of a news video. Today I saw my friend Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube's video talking about this Twitter post that just happened today when I'm recording this and you guys will see this tomorrow. Kaiba's birthday celebration continues and we're giving away some amazing items. Let's see what those are. Donate at least $20 to the CDC Foundation on Tiltify to earn an entry to win a Platinum Blue Eyes White Dragon signed by Eric Stewart, the voice of Seto Kaiba himself. That's not the big deal. That's still pretty cool, though. The second tweet says, There will also be six runner-up prizes. Click the link below for more details. The CDC Foundation provides PPE to frontline workers. Okay, if we go into the campaign here, we see they've raised already $12,000, which is crazy. Oh, 15000 is the goal. They're almost there. By the way, if you guys want to donate to this and enter, go ahead and do that. If we go to these terms and conditions right here, we can see what the runner-up prizes are and a very interesting detail. So if we go down here on the prizes, it says sponsor will award one grand prize, a Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Masterpiece Series Platinum Blue Eyes White Dragon signed by the voice actor for Seto Kaiba, Eric Stewart, and six runner-up prizes consisting of a display box of Legend of Blue Eyes Unlimited Edition. Not 24 packs, a display box. That means this, this is a display box. Well, you might say, well, they're just going to give away six original boxes that they have for the runner-up prizes, right? I mean, they, they, they're they Konami. They have stuff set back in a warehouse. This is where it gets interesting. My friend Yu-Gi-Oh! 2 brought this up in his video. I'll have him linked below. Approximate retail value of $1,000 for the grand prize, $95.75 per unlimited display box. I don't know about you guys, but I know this is a first edition, but let's say it's an unlimited. Unlimited boxes are not $95. That would be about $4 a pack. That's like if it was 2002 today. That's the original retail price. They never go for that much anymore. Why would they say that it's worth $4 if they weren't going to make a reprint? It seems like they're reprinting these booster boxes because the $4 per pack price point here is what's really making me think it's going to be a reprint. Because otherwise, wouldn't you consider an original booster box to be a better prize? Why would that be a runner up to the Platinum Blue Eyes? You could say, well, they're reselling for four or 5,000. But still, would you rather have a Platinum Blue Eyes or an original booster box? I think a lot of people would have original booster boxes. However, on the picture you guys can see, it is an original logo there. So it, it's an original print box. Maybe they don't have the pictures yet for the reprints. That's what I'm thinking because it just doesn't make sense why they would refer to it in retail value. However, they did do that for the Platinum Blue Eyes. So if we want to look at it that way, the Platinum Blue Eyes was referred to as $1,000, which is not $1,000 in the secondary market. And these could be referred to as retail value as well. To me, this feels like a reprint. Here's why. They've already reprinted 2002. 2002, they printed it again in Unlimited. 2003, they reprinted it. 2004, they reprinted it. 2010, they reprinted it. 2013, they reprinted it. 2017, they reprinted it. It's usually been loose packs. But now this time, it could be a booster box. I could see it happening. One, because why wouldn't you? It's going to sell a ton of product. People are going to buy that for nostalgia purposes. They saw what happened when they did the Korean reprints. People bought so many Korean booster boxes. If they do that with English, it'll be even more so. It'll be crazy. Let me know in the comments, do you think they are reprinting the booster boxes or are they actually giving away six original prints? To me, I'm leaning toward reprinting the booster boxes because one, they know they can make money off it. And two, it's a little bit strange to talk about a $95 booster box that hasn't been $95 in 10... 15 years, however long it's been since that was worth that much. Now the question is, what does this do if they do reprint the booster boxes? I personally don't think it's that big of a deal. I think it would actually be really fun. Korean booster boxes were so much fun, especially for people who can't afford this high-end stuff. Not everyone can afford thousands of dollars for a booster box, $200 for a booster pack. I think it would make the unlimited stuff much more accessible for all the collectors who are on much more of a budget. And personally, I would open a ton of it. It would save me so much money. And honestly, I don't think it would impact the original booster boxes that much because when Konami reprints it, it's going to have the new Konami logo, you know, just like the reprint packs. It's going to be very easy to tell from an original. They're not even going to be close. Completely different logo. The original still has that value from being the original box. The box with the that was actually printed in 2002, the one that people want to collect. There's no reason why you would ever want the reprint over the original. So I think the original's price will be impacted some, but I don't think it's like Doomsday. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube was acting like it was Doomsday. He thinks that it's basically the end, the end of Unlimited. I don't think so. I think that it will impact the price of the boxes, etc. But it's not going to make them worth $10 anymore. They're still going to be worth you know, $1,000 for an unlimited booster box, I think. But I did think this was super interesting because if they can reprint LOB, they can reprint anything. Metal Raiders is next. Then Magic Ruler, except Spell Ruler. Uh, Spell, I guess Magic Ruler is the most safe because they're not changing the name back. You can even go into some other stuff, like some newer stuff, like GX. I mean, imagine unlimited GX Ultimate Rares coming back. I mean, that would be awesome. 
pulling a Tempest Ultimate Rare, stuff like that. Now, what it will affect is if they do get into those sets that weren't pre-printed a lot, those unlimited singles will come down a lot. That you will be able to tell a difference probably, but those unlimited singles are definitely going to get hit quite a bit. Blue Eyes and stuff like that have already been reprinted so much that I think it won't necessarily impact like the unlimited blue eyes that much and stuff like that because there's tons and tons of unlimited lob out there already due to the single pack reprints so the singles aren't going to move too much on those that were in like the legendary collection game board etc but those those other sets that weren't like maybe they were print magicians force unlimited that's where you got to worry if you're invested in dark magician girl psa 10s unlimited or dark magician girl unlimited and you're hoping that that's going to go up if they reprint magician's force booster boxes unlimited that's that's going to hurt those are really going to take a beating there but who doesn't want to open some magician's force that would be incredibly fun let me know in the comments how you feel about a reprint would you be upset that they reprint the old sets do you think it's bad for unlimited or are you excited would you want to open some stuff for some cheaper prices shout out to tcg trusted cards tone fo show tomato juice cody j6490 stanley mike nancy mimic gecko appreciate you guys supporting the channel and i will see you guys later peace